Welcome everybody to the webinar. My name is Eric Johnson. Very excited to be with you this evening. Um, tonight we're going to talk about how to set Teams up right, get started right, and become a power hour boss. It's going to be a lot of fun. For those of you guys who have been on my trainings before, this is not going to be a deep philosophical training. It's going to be a nuts and bolts, how to use Teams, how to crank through a power hour, how to um, have the best workflows so you can be incredibly efficient with your time um, while connecting with people and making their day. So I'm going to take you through the whole process. First, I have a quick presentation to walk you through. Then I'll take you into Teams to show you how to set it up. We'll do um, the complete process, how to, how to connect with people, say hello, make their day, have a conversation, lead those to an invite, how to invite about the business, how to follow up like a pro on those invites, all the way from that first connect with the prospect to bringing them onto your team. Okay, we're gonna do that in about, I don't know, about 30 minutes. <laughs> so it's gonna be, we're gonna move fast. It's gonna feel like you're drinking water from a fire hose, which is, which is cool. Um, I want you guys to know I'll do a Q&A at the end. You can ask me anything, anything about this presentation or anything at all about Teamsy, whatever you want. There's a Q&A button right down here. You'll click that to do it. Now, if you're watching live on Facebook, you're not gonna be able to uh, ask a live question. So if you're watching live on Facebook, just uh, leave your message you know, in the comments and I will answer it later. Okay. Ready? Here we go. First things first. Get started right with Teamsy. Become a hashtag power hour boss. See, one of the things I want you guys to know about Teamsy is not only, it, um, first and foremost, it's going to save you a ton of time because it's designed around the power hour. You can build a huge business. I mean, massive in less than an hour a day. Okay. With a tool like Teamsy in your pocket but it's also gonna be based on building relationships. You're never gonna be salesy or icky with this, with, with this approach, okay? You get to start with making people's days and finish with helping change their lives. So let's get started. A little bit about my backstory for those of you guys who haven't met me before. I, as I mentioned before, my name's Eric Johnson, I'm the creator of Teams, I'm the CEO of the company. My background is in business coaching and consulting. I've been helping people build their business for going on 16 years now. Um, and this, what I love to do is help people build their business, teach them the principles of building a business with heart. I fell into network marketing by accident, literally by accident. I found some products that changed my life. I lost 90 pounds or 60 pounds in 90 days, something crazy like that. Life changing. And I just was sharing it with people. And when I discovered it was an amazing business model, I decided to pursue it. And as I um, looked at it from the perspective of a business coach, I knew the first thing, the first thing that I needed were tools that would help me leverage my time because I had a full-time job, four kids, two dogs, right? Just like the rest of you, normal guy, busy. I needed a way to be able to do this in just an hour a day. So I was looking for a system that would allow me to stay in touch with all of my contacts, um, know when to contact them and when not to. In other words, don't make me think, for goodness sake. Don't make me think. Just tell me what to do today. Also, I wanted to know what to say to them. Do you guys ever get stuck trying to figure out what to say to somebody to start a conversation? I needed to figure out what to do quickly and efficiently so I could just start those conversations. And I needed a system that would let me follow up seamlessly so nobody ever falls through the cracks. How painful is that? I know you guys have all experienced that when somebody falls through the cracks. So I wanted a way to do all this in less than an hour a day. I looked everywhere. Um, I looked, I looked at every system out there. There was really nothing out there for us. There was one more thing though that it needed to do besides all of that was it needed to be easy to use because I am not techie. In fact, I will probably have two or three technical fails just during this webinar. And I've done this webinar 600 times. I needed it to be super easy and it needed also to be based on relationships, not just to find them, fleece them and forget them type go for no philosophy. So there wasn't anything out there. You guys know, that's why you're listening to me tonight. So we built it. It didn't exist, so we built it. We built Teamsy. So here's what's happened in a lot, just a little more than two years with Teamsy. We've had more than 70,000 network marketers use Teamsy. How amazing is that, right? It's very humbling for me. Also, just so you guys understand what kind of results people are getting, because a lot of times people feel like, oh, that relationship stuff's nice, but it doesn't convert. No, the truth is, is that our active users are averaging 21 new customers and nine new recruits over 90 days, okay? So I always do 90 day results because relationships don't happen overnight, right? But over 90 days, those are the average from our active users. I'm going to demonstrate tonight on the demo the amount of activity that these folks are doing on average, okay? So you know that it's not like some crazy amount. It's literally less than an hour a day, okay? 
All right, let's jump out of here real quick. I'll take you into Teams. We've got some action steps that I'll give you at the end. Get it on Teams. -y. There we go. No, oh, I don't want that one. I want this one. Okay. There's my Teams -y dashboard. What we're going to do is I'm going to set this up for you guys really quick. Now, first of all, if you're watching this uh, webinar, you might already be using Teams, which is great. We're going to teach you the workflows and everything. And I'm going to go through setup. You may have already done this, but you may have missed a few things. Maybe I'll, maybe you'll learn something on that. For those of you guys who have not used Teams yet, you can go to teamsy.com and get a free trial for 30 days. It's free. No credit card required, nothing weird. No, it's completely free. I want you to use it for 30 and it's 30 days. It's not like seven days or whatever. I want you to actually use it. The reason why I give you a month free is because I believe with every ounce and actually the statistics prove I'm right. But if you use this for 30 days, you'll get great results and you'll be a Teamsy customer forever. It's a win-win for both of us, right? So go to teamsy.com, get your free trial and get started on it. Okay, so when you first come into your free trial, it'll bring you into the setup wizard, which is designed to help you set this up. The setup wizard, you can dismiss and relaunch as many times as you want, whenever you want. The way you get to it is right here in the top right, this little wheel, hit setup wizard, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do this. You can, do, um, you can get your updates during your free trial from Facebook Messenger, I recommend that because we know you probably don't read email very often, right? So here's what we're gonna do, three things in setup. One, we're gonna set your income goal, okay? Two, we're gonna set up a why so that you have a reason to keep going. And three, we're gonna get all of your contacts imported into Teamsy, one place, one list, so you can be super mega organized, so you're not digging through your phone or your Facebook Messenger to try to find people to connect. Or I've even talked to people who have shoe boxes full of sticky notes, spreadsheets you never update, pads of paper, forget all that stuff, okay? That, I, I talk about, that's like driving an ox cart. This is a Ferrari we're gonna show you right here. Okay, you ready? All right, so set your income goal. First thing you wanna do is just put a number in the box. I put $150,000 in, in my box. This is the income goal for 12 months from now, okay? Make sense? So uh, I shouldn't say that you have earned it already in 12 months, but in 12 months you will be at this rate of income. Make sense? So put a number in, just pick a number, any number. Okay, make sure it's something reasonable. 150 grand for somebody brand new is aggressive, but it's reasonable. Make sense? Okay, continue. Now Teamsy crunches those numbers and it's telling me that I need to connect with 4,348 people over the next 12 months to hit my goal. Okay, do you think that's a reasonable amount of people? It's a lot, right? But my goal was pretty aggressive for year one. Okay, the good news is I want you guys to know this. 4,348 people is going to be less than an hour a day of work. Yes, it's about being consistent, I know. So the next page breaks it down for us into bite-sized chunks. See, the most important thing to do is not to know how much I wanna be at 12 months from now, but how much I need to do today. If you can keep your focus small, you can build your business big. Make sense? So we break it down into prospects, customers, and distributors. Um, and then that breaks down all the way to daily and that huge number, which was 4,348 now breaks down to connect with nine prospects a day, connect with six customers and connect with four of my distributors a day. Okay. Now just a little, little side note, there's, I don't know, 60 versions of Teamsy now customized to your network. So I'm, sh I'm showing the generic version. We call it Teamsy standard. It's, we could just call it distributors. So I know that, they, that the name of team members varies for you guys, depending on your network. Just bear with me when I say distributors, that's what I mean is your team, okay. So these are connects, connects with your prospects, connects with your customers, connects with your distributors. A connect is not a cold invite. It's not a please watch my video or some cheesy thing you've been taught that was developed that was very effective in the 1970s. Well, actually I shouldn't say that, that's not fair. It's still effective. It still works on about 3% of the population and it alienates the other 97%. But it, does, it is still effective, so I shouldn't say it's not effective. I personally am just too big of a wimp and too sensitive a person to want to alienate in my friends or family, so I don't do that. A connect, on the other hand, you guys, is just connecting with someone to make their day. It's just to help them have a moment where they can smile today. That's it. Just gonna get in the make someone's day mindset. 
Make sense? And what we're gonna do with the connect, besides make their day, is hopefully they'll respond and we can have a conversation, okay? So the make your day mindset is just that. It's not about not leading with the business, just connecting with people. Now, so these are my goals, nine, six, and four. Now let's say you're brand new and you have no distributors on your team, great. You can write over these, make that a zero, and put the four over here. What is that, 13? See, I, I took fifth grade math. There you go, right? Make sense? Same thing if you have no customers, you can put them all on prospects. You guys with me? Okay, so I'm gonna put, you can make these whatever you want. I'm gonna do 10 so that it's an even 20 across the board. I just like even numbers. Now invites, this next goal, the invite is something different. That is when you talk about your business. That is when you invite somebody to try a product or to come to a meeting or to get on a virtual event or to get on a three-way call or you're inviting them to uh, coffee, whatever. That is an invite. So my goal is to, is to connect with 20 people, make their day, and out of those conversations I create, invite three people. Make sense? This allows me to decide who has interest in being invited. And, and for the people who don't have interest, I can build that over time by investing in the relationship. Make sense? Okay, next, ads. Ads, these are just new people I'm putting on my list. People I'm meeting, people I'm meeting on social media, people I maybe already know but I hadn't thought of before that I'm adding to my list. I'm constantly adding people to my list. As a daily discipline, you should be adding people to your list. Even if you have a huge list, it's about bringing fresh relationships into the mix, always keeping everything fresh. Okay. Once you have all these goals the way you want them, click on continue, okay? And that sets your Teensy dashboard up to your goals. Pretty cool, right? So if, let me skip and I'll show you. Look, there's my dashboard and now it's set up to my goals. 10 prospects, six customers, four distributors. Sweet, my three invites, my three ads. All those goals are now set up. All right, let's jump back in here. Go right to where we were. See, if you come back to the wizard, you can just, you can just go through and continue back to the page you're on, no big deal, okay? Next step is finding your why. Finding your why. Now, I sometimes have been accused of going off on this topic because I'm very passionate about it. Why am I passionate about it? Because one out of two people in this business will quit in their very first year. Isn't that crazy? Think about how hard you work to get a prospect onto your team. And to think that 50% of them will just quit. Some of you guys are thinking about quitting, or maybe you will. And it's because people haven't taken time to figure out their why. Now, I'm going to share my story as an example. And I'll try not to stay, stay too long on it, but I think it's really important. I'm just going to take a couple minutes to take you through this process. Finding out your why and creating a why statement, which I'll show you will display on the Team Z dashboard so you can see it every day is an important step because you understand your why in your heart, but you gotta get it in front of you so that you can help reprogram your brain with it. Because your heart wants things, but your brain runs things. Make sense? So we gotta get these things out. And if you don't do this, you will quit. There's just no way. Life is just too hard. And, and sometimes it takes a while for these seeds that you're planting to bloom. And there's, nobody can persist through any hardship without a reason. Do you realize that? Our default setting as human beings is to quit. We go the path of least resistance. We'll walk around rather than through unless we have a reason. Okay, so I'm gonna demystify this for you. There's a lot of different books and things out there on finding your why. And you can go deep in this process if you want to. First, get your first draft. I'm gonna show you the easy way. There's just five questions to get your mind spinning. Answer these questions. Do them with a partner, however you wanna do it. Get your mind spinning so that you can pull this out. Let me just take you through my process real quick. Here we go. First question. Why'd you become a distributor? Why did you become a distributor? Why are you in this business to begin with? Now, I already told you in my case, I lost a bunch of weight. I was really excited about what the products did for me. And um, people were asking, honestly, people were asking me all the time, what did you, oh my gosh, what did you do? How'd you lose that weight? And I would tell them. Eventually, my wife smacked me in the back of the head. I said, just be a distributor. You're already paying, you're already selling the product. You're just not getting paid for it. How many of you guys were like that? You were a customer that wasn't getting paid for sharing what you were excited about. So I signed up. Sure, why not? Now, next question. What do you hope to accomplish? What do you hope to accomplish? I just wanted to make $500 a month extra money. That's all I wanted to do. Just wanted to make $500 a month extra money. 
And I remember asking my sponsor after my wife said, my wife thinks I should sign up for this. Do you think I can make $500 a month extra money? He said, yes, I do. I said, great, sign me up. I didn't have a deep why and I didn't have a reason to persist. Right now, it was just, it was a reason to get signed up. Make sense? Next question, why is that important to you? Why is what important to me? Making 500 bucks a month? Who doesn't want to make 500 bucks a month? Anyone think that way? The truth is though, I did have a reason I wanted to say that I wanted to put $500 a month in the bank. It, I just, I needed that. I just needed it to go in the bank. And some of you guys know my story, but during the big recession that happened at the end of 2008, I was in the business of coaching real estate people. Oh my gosh, that disappeared overnight. I mean, that whole industry went kaput in one day. It was crazy. I, I lost my job along, along with half the, com uh, half the country, I should say. And, um, you know, it was tough. It was a hard time. We, we used our savings, you know, by God's good grace, we made it through the recession intact, but we used all our savings up and we stopped saving. We went, we went from having a pretty comfortable financial position to living paycheck to paycheck. And then we never climbed out of that. And I'm sure some of you guys can relate to that and living paycheck to paycheck, which so many people do is a terrifying position, terrifying position, because you know, if you lose that paycheck, especially if you've already lost a job before, you know what happens if you lose that paycheck, right? I just wanted to put some money in the bank. I thought this might be an easy way to do it. Great. Next question. What would achieving this mean for you and your family? What would achieving this mean for you and your family? Can you guys see how just asking these questions of yourself starts to lead you somewhere? So what I wanted to do with that money was I thought, wow, if I could save it for long enough, we could buy a new home. I just dreamt of a new home. I wanted to be in a bigger place. We, we ran out of bedrooms long ago. My wife and I have been blessed with lots of kids and there was no place to put them all. <laughs> Everyone was sharing a room, including us. The, the nursery was in our master bedroom. And um, it, was, uh, it was crowded. And I also dreamt about coming home and working from home. Where would I do that next in, you know, next to the crib? I had nowhere to go. So I dreamt of a new home, like literally five minutes into this process. I went from, okay, sign me up to, wow, maybe this business can buy us a new home. Right. Why not? Next question. What, why is that meaningful? How does this make you feel? Why is that meaningful? How does this make you feel? Now, this is where I kind of get stuck because honestly, and some of you guys have heard me share this before. I, I don't know. Is it meaningful to want a new home? Or is that just a shallow materialistic goal? I don't know. I really had to think about this for a minute. And honestly, it's a little bit of an uncomfortable question. Um, because I had to face a truth that I was kind of hiding from myself. Isn't that funny how we do that? We hide the truth that we know to be true from ourselves. The truth is, it wasn't about a new house. It was about my family. You see... My family is my number one in priority, right? Or so I thought. In my heart it was. But in life, I wasn't a part of that, their life. Their life was separate from mine. I was constantly working to provide for my family, but I was never with them. I get up in the morning, kiss my kids goodbye while they're in bed, go to work, work all day, slay every day. I was good at my job. I was respected. But, I would, but my family wasn't there. I would get home in the evening. They were already getting ready for bed. That was my relationship with my kids. And I traveled a lot, which meant a lot of weekends I was gone. I was just missing it. They were growing up and I was completely missing it. Uh, I thought my family was my number one priority, but a mentor of mine once said, show me your calendar and your checkbook and I'll show you your real priorities, right? So um, I just wasn't there with them. I wanted, it wasn't that I needed a new house. It was that I wanted a new life with my family. The house was kind of symbolic of that. Now, here's the epiphany that I had. It was like, wow, I've been working in this career now. At that time, what was that, three years ago? So it's like 13 years. I was at the top of my career, very pinnacle of my career. Corner office, respect, better than six-figure salary, living paycheck to paycheck. I don't know. I was stuck. I was just stuck. We were just in a place that stuck. We live in an expensive part of the country and there was just, there was nowhere to go. Along comes this little side gig that I thought would make me some extra money. Now I'm looking at that side gig going, wow, this, my career is stuck. I'm at the top, but this career over here, this network marketing business opportunity has no limit. It has no limit where it took me 13 years to work my way up to past six-figure income, 
I had already made friends who had done it in less than two. Right? Some of you guys need to hear that. And I thought, wow, I need to shift my thinking right now. See, what happened in that moment was I realized network marketing wasn't extra money. My salary was. My salary was extra money. Those guys were going to pay me to build my network marketing business. Right? It was just a mindset shift. And I was able to take that thinking and create my very first why statement, which I wrote down and published to my Team Z dashboard. I'm going to share it with you guys right now. And this is what you need to do. You need to create yours. So this was my why. And what's crazy about this, you guys, I want you guys to understand. I wrote this why down in July 2015, three years ago. This story that I'm telling you about was three years ago. To create a life where I never have to worry about money again. I enjoy quality time with my family. I'm present for my children on a daily basis. I'm healthy and full of energy. This was my why statement. I wrote it as if it was already happened so that I could see it every single day and it would motivate me to get, get it done. Now, here's the cool thing. Even once Teamsy was built and I was able to do this in 20 or 30 minutes a day, which I'm going to show you in a second, were there still plenty of days where I don't feel like it? Yeah. Do you guys ever not feel like reaching out to people? Totally. Do, do things happen that are legitimate? I mean, the month of August is insane for most people, especially if you have kids. There's lots of good reasons why you can't do it, right? Deaths in the family, divorces, the economy, oh my gosh, politics, whatever. There's plenty of reasons. You need to know why you're in the game because it convicts you. This why statement, once I understood, this is how I remove the worry about money. This is how I get to be with my kids. I need to just need to suck it up and get it done today. And I just want you guys to know when I wrote this, everything changed for me. By the way, whatever you write in this last box, click continue. It saves it onto your dashboard of Teamsy. Okay. Just really quick, I want to share this with you and we'll jump back into setting up Teamsy and crushing our power hour. Within three months of writing that down, I was out of my career. I mean, it was like, it was so clear what I needed to do. And what was beautiful about it was, I never, I've never shared this before. What was beautiful about it was, I was actually let go the day I was going to resign, which was so wonderful. Cause I got a severance package, which finance, oh, it was just, it was like, thank you, Lord. Everything lined up just the way we needed it. It was so great. I left my career and I had nowhere to work. So some of you guys know the story. Maybe if you've seen some of the old Teamsy videos from, from my backyard, but I actually went to Home Depot and bought a shed. You know the sheds you put your lawnmower in? Some of you guys probably have one of those you know, shovels, lawnmowers. I dropped one of those in my backyard and I ran an extension cord out to that thing and I put my computer and I started working my business in my, in my backyard. My kids call it the shed quarters. Look at this. I found an old picture of it. Uh, I'll show it to you guys real quick. Here I am in my shed. Check this out. Oh, it was great, man. Started a company there and you can see in the back, I'm writing Teamsy and I'm starting the idea to start this company. And now we're training you guys, you know, in the 70 thousands from started in the shed. Here's the thing. It starts with the why you need to, you need to get that down and it doesn't have to be perfect. The why is a process. Just get it down. You need to know who you're working for. What are you working for? What are the fears that are holding you where you're, where you are? How can you put them in your why overcome those? Who are the people you would die for? They're part of your why get them in there because you're going to, you're going to fall victim to the three biggest enemies of business, business owners. The first one is procrastination. The second one is boredom. And the third one is lack of visible results. Those are the things that will take you out of this business and make you quit. And I'm here to tell you the system I'm going to show you guys tonight. You will, yes, you will experience procrastination. Yes, you will experience boredom. Yes, you will experience at times lack of visible results. I am here to tell you this system works 100% of the time. Get your why down, get consistent, and reap the rewards. You ready? All right, last step for setup. Last step for setup is getting your contacts into Teamsy, okay? So if you've already got a team, you've been building this business for a while, you already have a team, your first step is gonna be getting from your back office your team, your distributors, get them in, okay? If you've got a big team, just get your first level people. Second step is your customer list. Get your customers imported into Teamsy, okay? Do it in that order too, team, then customers. And then you're gonna get your Facebook friends list imported into Teamsy. It's a great place to start. 
and everybody's already on Facebook, which I'm going to show you guys in a minute. It's Facebook's the best way to communicate with people. So it's great if you already have them on Facebook. If you're brand new and you don't have a team, you start, get your Facebook list in first. There's some videos here to help you with this stuff. Also, by the way, you can skip this wizard. And um, the help center right here has even more FAQs, videos, things on how to do all this stuff. So if you're tech averse, you can get in here and get some self-service. If you just want somebody to hold your hand through the process, click on this help and ask us for help. Our team will, will literally hold, their, hold your hand through the process, at least virtually. Okay, <clears throat> so how we import, this is built into the wizard, but if you dismiss it, you go to the team page and you click on this big import button. That's how you do bulk import, okay? Cool. Now, once you get your files all imported into Teamsy, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna rank those people real quick before you get started. So what do I mean by ranking them? I mean, we give them a five-star ranking, like, you, like you're doing a Netflix or Yelp or Amazon, right? Five stars, you guys know how this works. We're gonna give our people five stars, four stars, three stars, two stars, things like that. And that's how we tell Teamsy how to create our list. So you have to prioritize relationships first if you wanna prioritize time. With relationship marketing, which is the philosophy and system Teamsy is built on, you spend more time with the best people, right? Um, and if you don't prioritize relationships, the people that aren't the best people steal the time. The squeaky wheel gets the oil, right? In this business, your best people should get more time. The best relationships should get more investment of your time. So let me show you this works real quick and then we'll get started. The team page is where, this is where your CRM lives inside Teamsy. Your whole list is here. Everyone's there, see them all? Okay. Now, once you've done a ma uh, mass import, it's gonna automatically do this for you, but I'm gonna set this, show you right here from this little menu right here, rank mode. So when you do an import, it'll automatically leave you in rank mode so you can do this easy. So what rank mode does is you can go down your list. Everyone's gonna start as a three star, by the way. And as you're going down your list, you can rank them just by clicking. So if, they're, if they should be a four, you just click on it. If you think they're more like a two, click on it. Now, here's the thing. This isn't an exact science. And you should just do it based on your gut. Five stars being awesome, one star not being awesome. But I did put some guidelines in here for you to kind of get your head around this. Click on this little question mark to see them. A five star is somebody most likely to become a customer or distributor, or they're an existing customer or distributor that's a rock star. Simply put, five stars are your best, are your, are your best people, your best friends, your closest relationships, and your best prospects. Okay? A five-star person shows up on your up next list to connect every 30 days. Remember, it's just to connect, just to start a conversation with them. Four-star people, they are someone likely to become a customer or a, cons or a um, distributor with a little bit of nurturing, okay? Or they're your solid people, solid relationships. They show up every 60 days on your up next list. Four stars, 60 days. Three stars, everyone defaults to three because that's, you don't know, they could go either way. A three-star person could be could warm up to a five star, maybe in there or two, we don't know yet. So they're gonna show up every 90 days, okay? The majority of your list will stay at three stars and they'll come through every 90 days, which is great. That'll keep you in touch with them four times a year. Two star people are getting colder there every 120 days. Do you guys see how this works? One star people are the people that you've kind of put in storage. They don't come up on your up next list. You have to look them up to find them. Are you with me? That's the ranking system. What this does for you is it prioritizes your relationships. Okay, let me explain why this is important when you're working with relationships. If you don't do this, you'll spend a lot of time with your coldest relationships and you'll wonder why you're not getting the results you could be getting. Okay, if you do do this, you will get the great best results and you only have to do it once because Teamsy will take this ranking that you give it and it will give you your list every day. You never have to think, you never have to plan ever. You just turn it on and connect to the next person on the list. It will cycle everybody through at the right speed so that you can stay in touch at the optimum amount. Okay, so don't skip this step. It's very important. All right, so now that we've got all that done, we're ready to do our power hour. You guys ready? Okay, let's do it. So here's my dashboard. I already showed you where the goals are. They're up here in today's activities. This is today's goals. By the way, Team Z's focused on the day, the day, just today. What happens if I do nothing today? Do I turn it on tomorrow and do double? No, I turn it on tomorrow and I do today. Okay, just do today. That's it, just do today. Just try to get as consistent as you can doing it more often. All right, here we go. First person on my list, 
My power hour is right here in the middle. See this power hour box? There's two sides. The left side has my lists, prospects, customers, distributors, and follow-ups. Okay, four lists. Each list gives me five names at a time only by design. That keeps me from getting overwhelmed and from skipping around too much. The right-hand side is where I log the activity as I do it. Okay, so let me show you how this works. We're gonna start with our prospects. Always work left to right, okay? First person on my list is Jay. She's who is up next. Now, I maybe I haven't talked to Jay since high school and I really wanna skip her, which I can. I can click skip, but don't. Just message her. Let me show you what to do. <sighs> what the heck am I gonna to say to Jay? This is where so many people get stuck. Then they'll go to her Facebook page or their, her Instagram and they'll read it for an hour and they still won't know what to say. Guess what, you just wasted your whole hour. You didn't message anybody. Here's the thing, I just wanna get you started. So click on scripts right here in the bottom. See that, see where I'm spinning around my thing? I put my scripts in here to help you get started. They work amazing just to connect with people, okay? So look, I'm gonna click Facebook because I'm gonna message her on Facebook and I'm just gonna grab this script right here. Here it is, connect number one. Hi Jane, just stopping by to say hello. How are you? I hope your day is awesome. I know this sounds so simple, but I have to tell you, this particular script gets amazing results. And some of you guys who are um, already using Teamsy, go ahead and throw it in the comments if you're getting great results with the script so everybody can see that, I, that I'm not making this up. I clicked on copy script. Now, I'm gonna send this message through Facebook. I've got it open up here in another tab, okay? But before I send that, I'm just gonna paste it in here so I can edit it a little bit. Because maybe I want to change it a little bit from the script, right? First of all, the name's not right. Name's Jay. Um, actually, I like the way this is worded because it's me. But maybe you want to change the wording a little bit. Don't change it too much, though, guys, because it's seriously crafted to work great. I'll put a smiley face emoticon in there. I like emoticons. Okay, you ready? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. and get ready to send it in, in Facebook. Yes, you have to send it actually in Facebook. I'm gonna look up Jay right here. You have to send it in Facebook because Facebook really doesn't allow you to, um, doesn't allow anybody to send on its behalf. You have to use Facebook, which is fine. So look, I'm gonna click send message. Wait right here, send message. Check it out, boom. Ready to go and send. So Teamsy has told me who to connect with. It's actually told me what to say, which is great, now I've sent it. So now I'm just gonna go back to Teamsy and finish logging this activity so it's tracked at the same time. Okay, so look, I'm just gonna hit log connect. Boom, now it's done. Got one done, next person is Katie. I'm just gonna use that same script. I've already got it on my clipboard. I'll paste it again, I'll change the name. See how easy that is? Oops, but I spelled it wrong. That's why I do it here, not in Facebook. Look, now, now this is ready to go. I'll copy it, I'll toggle over to Facebook, I'll send the message. Right, and then I'll log it here. Big blue log connect button, boom, now I've got two done. I'm gonna just go down my list, do the same thing with Rocky. I'm gonna message Rocky, I'm gonna message Cosmo. I'm gonna go down my list until I get 10 done. Yeah, you can use the same script, you can grab a different one, that's cool. Whatever you wanna do, don't overthink it. Guys, do not overthink this. Do I worry about if they respond or not? I don't, guess what, some of them will respond. In my case, it's about 50% response rate is what I get. And when people respond, I have a conversation with them. When they don't respond, I don't worry about it because guess what? They're gonna be back on my Teamsy list down the road. They can't fall through the cracks with this system. Does that make sense? And I'll connect with them again. And each time I connect with them, they'll get warmer and they'll be more likely to have a conversation with me, which is great. So I'm gonna go down that list on prospects until I'm done. And when I get to my 10, which is my goal, I'm gonna to go to customers. That should take me about 10 or 15 minutes tops to do that first list. Now I'm gonna go down my customers the same way Gail's the first person on my up next list. I'm gonna click on scripts to get an idea of something to say to her, okay? Something simple like this. Hi John, how are you enjoying the products? Please send me an update. Let me know I could be of help. All right, copy that script. Somebody, guys, do me a favor. Um, throw in the chat, somebody throw in the chat what company you're with. And I'm gonna customize the script to you. Juice Plus, first one that came up, great. Boom, so I'm gonna paste the script in. How are you enjoying, oops, your tower garden? Please send me an update, let me know how I can help. Oh, her name's not John. See how easy this is? 
Seriously, you guys will get as fast as me after a while. Look, boom, there's your message. Now I'll copy it, I'll send it in Facebook, um, and I'll send it to her and then I'll, I'll finish logging it here. Ready? Boom. One done, next person's Aleta. Right? Pretty cool. Now, here's the thing. You're gonna go down your customer list the same way. I want you guys to understand this concept. Connecting with customers is as important as connecting with prospects. Okay, connecting with customers is as important as connecting with prospects. Why? Because your customers, first of all, staying in touch with your customers is what you should be doing. You're a business owner, right? It's huge. But the other thing is this. How many of you guys need some new customers? Yeah. Where are you going to get them? Do you know? Here's the thing. The best place to find a new customer is from a current customer. Okay, the best place to find a new customer is from a current customer. What does that mean? It means that people that love your products are talking about them already, right? Isn't that how, how you guys got involved? 86% of all purchases are done by personal recommendation. That means that those 86% of your business is gonna come from your current customers. That's just the way it is. Look guys, your customers already have other people who are ready to buy. You need to be in touch with them so you can get introduced. Okay, now the other principle that you need to know about customers is if you're in regular contact with them, I mean, just, can, just contact. Hey, how are you? Or hey, just like that little message I said. Just stay in contact, being present in their lives, they will order more products. They will order more, this is statistically true across the board, they will order more products. You wanna see your team volume go up? Get everybody using Teamsy for 30 days for free and get them in contact with their customers. Volume will go up, people will, will ask you about new products, they will add to their orders and they will continue on their monthly auto ships for longer. Okay, so stay in touch with your customers. All right, I could spend all day talking about that, but you guys get the idea. So you're gonna do your prospects, boom, till you're done, till that turns all the way blue and you've got your goal done. Then you're gonna connect with customers, same way until it's done. And then you're gonna to get to your team and you're gonna connect with your team the same way. There's even some scripts in here for your team to help you out, I love this one. Hi Jane, just checking in to see if there's anything I can do to make your day. How awesome would you feel if your upline sent you that message right now? Yeah, they don't do it very often, do they? We're gonna change this industry. We're gonna put some heart in it. it. Starts with you guys. You guys with big teams, listen up. It's time to love on these people some more. Doing your, um, doing your team calls on your team page, having a team page, that's great. They need to hear from you one-on-one. -on -one. You guys who are new, who are planning to build the next empire, do it right. Start with teams and start loving on people from the get-go. Build those relationships as you go. This will help you stay on top of it. Okay, that's why we call it Teamsy and not Leadsy or Salesy or anything weird like that. Um, because it's about building your team and that community and that family. So prospects, customers, distributors. When I'm done with my outgoing connects for the day, I can work on my follow-ups list. Now, this is really important. One little extra thing. Don't start answering the incoming messages until you're done with all your outgoing messages. Okay, just stay disciplined. You'll have time to have those conversations later, but first get all your outgoing messages done. Now in our example, we sent 20 messages. It should have taken maybe 30 minutes tops. You guys with me? So what do I spend the rest of my half hour on? It's on follow-ups. So let me explain this. When I go to my follow-ups list, it's empty. It's empty. So how do I get people on my follow-ups list? See, connects and follow-ups, they're different concepts. The follow-up is after someone's interested. That's when we follow up with them. Otherwise, we're just staying in contact. We're just building the relationship. We're just educating them on what we do and why we're passionate about it. So let me give you an example. I send this message out to Jay, right? Send her out a message. Hey, Jay, hope you're having a great day. How are you, you know? And she says, oh, it's great to hear from you. Great, and we start messaging back and forth and having a conversation, right? I usually would, would send a, a very simple open-ended message like, well, what have you been up to? Send me an update. So she sends me an update, oh my gosh, August was crazy busy, you know, the kids, thank God they're back in school. This is what everyone's saying right now. I can feel you and we're having a conversation. Now, what I'm gonna do in this conversation, always in my conversation, as I'm learning, I'm listening to her, I'm listening for what's going on in her life, I'm listening for a way I can help her. If there's anything I can do to help her, I'm gonna do it. It may have nothing to do with my business. I'm just listening for wants and needs. Maybe I can give her a recommendation. I always think about what do I know or who do I know that can help her? What do I know or who do I know that can help her? 
And, um, you know, if it's something that I can fix with my business, great. We're going to talk about that right now. But whatever happens in this conversation, I'm looking for a way to help her. And I'm going to give her my update. She's giving me her update. I'm going to give her my update. What are you up to, Eric? I'm going to tell her what I do and why I'm passionate about it. So what is it that you do? I help people get healthy because uh, a friend of mine, Ron, who was in my last boot camp, he's a cancer survivor, it, which is anyone who survives cancer is miraculous. But like this was really miraculous. I mean, the doctors washed their hands of him and said, this guy's not going to make it. And he did. That's a good reason to be passionate about helping people get healthy, right? But his, the products of his company helped him beat cancer, stage five cancer. And so he's, so, so, you know, that's his story. He's passionate about, I survived. Did you know I had stage five cancer? I know. I can't even believe I'm here. Every day is a miracle. And now I'm sharing it with others. What is it that you do and why are you passionate about it? It's not salesy. It's not trying to recruit them. It's just giving your update. They give you their update, give them your update. And so when, if there's some interest in learning more, then I'm going to invite you to something. Well, Jay, if you're interested in learning more, my team's actually doing a virtual event tonight on Facebook. We're going to talk all about it. People are going to be sharing their stories. If you would like to learn more about this opportunity that's changed my life, I'd be happy to send you that link and you can plug into it. She says, oh, that'd be, that sounds really interesting, Eric. Send me the link. Great. Um, so I sent it to her. So this is an invite. Let me show you how to do it in Teams. Sorry if I'm getting a little blurry. It's the sun is setting right here in Southern California and it's messing with my lighting just a touch. Uh, where is Teamsy? Where are you hiding from me, Teamsy? There you are. So Jay's not long, no longer on my dashboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look her up on the lookup bar at the top. That brings me to her record. So as we've been having this conversation back and forth, I don't actually log all the back and forth in Teamsy because it's in Messenger, but I am going to come log the fact that I sent her an invite. So let me show you how this works. Click on the big blue connect button and see where it says invite right here? I'm going to set an invite and we're going to say uh, opportunity call, right? So she's jumping on opportunity call tonight. That was the type. I'm going to send this via a uh, Facebook message. Fine. Great. And I'm just going to say a uh, virtual event. My notes. So I'm inviting her to a virtual event. Now notice that Teamsy automatically set a follow-up for me in two days. Now you can change that to whatever you want, but I'll actually keep that. So, so now I'm inviting her to the virtual event. I'm sending her the link. And I'm logging it in Teamsy. Let me click Log Connect. Boom. Now she's on my follow-ups list. Right? And it, it set a follow-up because I sent her an invite. And the invite is business-related. Check this out. Follow-ups list. There she is. So as I'm connecting with people, as I'm having conversations with people, my goal is out of 20 to have three people that are interested enough that I'm going to invite them to something. This allows me to have my prospects, like my, my actual hot leads on my follow-up list are people who are interested and everybody else, instead of damaging relationships by pushing my business on them, I get to just bring them along at their own pace. Make sense? And this keeps my pipeline full and it keeps my relationships intact. I don't ever have to be a dirty, icky salesperson or never feel like that anyways. So look, here's what I'm going to do with Jay. Now she's due for follow-up. How am I going to do that in Teams? Let me just show you this really quick. I'm going to do it on time. Okay, I need to finish up. Super easy. She comes up on my follow-ups list. I'm going to go to scripts and I'm going to get a follow-up script. By the way, I want you guys to know I have 10 follow-ups in here. You can follow up 10 times without having to think and they are numbered. <laughs> I made this so easy for you. So look, I'm going to go to my follow-up scripts. I'm going to get follow-up number one. Here it is. Hi, Jane. Just checking in like I promised I would. What questions do you have for me? Okay, copy the script. We'll do it the same way that we did the first one. Paste it in there, change the name to J. It's ready to go when I have it the way I want it. Okay. I'm going to go to Facebook and I'll actually message it. Okay. So there she is. We'll send her the message. This is my follow up. Boom. Hi, Jay. Just checking in like a promise. What questions you have for me? Send. So now I've sent her the follow up. Okay. Go back to Teamsy and I'll finish logging it. Now, what's cool about this is. Now I'm going to set a new follow-up so that she keeps, stays on my follow-ups list. Let's say I follow up again in two days. Great. In two days when she comes back on my list, I'll come back in and I'll send her the next follow-up script. Now this is really important, you guys, because some of you, when I said follow-up 10 times, you cringed. But the fortune's in the follow-up and you need to understand that 80%, I wish I could do 80% with my hands, but 80%, 80% of all sales happen between the seventh and the 10th follow-up. 
between the seventh and the 10th follow-up is 80% of all sales. So if you're following up three times, you're missing out on 95% of all the possible conversions that you have, that you could get. And if you are like me and your passion is to help people change their lives for the better, and the only tool that you have to change their lives for the better is to get them to purchase that product, then that means 95% of the lives you could touch, you are letting go because you don't care enough to follow up. This is why I always say following up rather than being an annoying thing is actually an act of love. Following up is an act of love. Write it down, put it on a little sticky note, put it in front of you. Remember that following up is an act of love. You got to shift your mindset on that. Now, the reason why most people don't follow up is because they are really worried about being annoying and probably the way you're doing it is annoying because the way we've been taught to do just about everything in this business is annoying and off-putting, which is why people are so skeptical and guarded and sometimes vicious, right? So I want you to know this. You can follow up all day long, 10 times, 20 times, and never be annoying if you follow my two principles for never being annoying when following up. Do you want to know them? I'll teach them to you. Now, here's the thing. You don't even have to know these. If you use my 10 scripts, they already follow my rules. But this is what I've learned after many, many, many years of helping people build their business by relationship. First, when you follow up, never ask them to do anything in your follow-up. Don't ask them to do anything. Don't give them any homework. Don't ask them to call you back. Don't ask them to message you back. Don't ask them to finish their purchase. Don't ask them to do anything, okay? First, that's the first principle. Principle number two, your message needs to be short and sweet and it needs to be texted. Either Facebook Messenger is the best way or text message. No voicemails, Lord forbid. Never leave me a voicemail. Don't send me a Facebook voice message unless it's my birthday and you're singing to me. I don't have time to listen to that. I need to be able to see your, your follow-up message on the lock screen of my phone. As Look at all the notifications there. See all those Facebook Messenger notifications? I should be able to read your message there without opening it. Why? <laughs> Here's why, guys. They're not going to respond to you right now, and they don't, they don't want to open your message because they're not going to respond to you right now. But they want to see it. So make it short enough that they can see it as that notification. Your goal is just that it's seen. And I, I don't have a lot of time to get into this, but the way human psychology works is most people will not respond to five or even six follow-ups. They won't even respond at all. And they love you. They respect you. They're excited about the opportunity and they, and they know they want the products. They're not answering just because their life's busy. Things are happening. There are just million distractions. It's, the timing is bad of each message. Whatever the case may be, don't take it personally. Don't make up stories in your mind of why they're not responding and don't give up. Just keep loving them through the process. They come up on Teamsy on your dad on your face on your um, follow up list. Send them the next message. Send them the next message, and you'll be staying in touch. They'll be seeing them. They'll be feeling your love and your passion for helping them through the process. And what will happen is around six follow ups, you'll get the "I'm so sorry, thank you so much for staying in touch with me. You're amazing. I so appreciate your follow up. I'm sorry I haven't responded." You get the apology, and you and you can continue the conversation because they can feel your care now. On the other hand, if you fail to follow up with people, they just will assume you don't care enough about them. And I know that sounds harsh, but think about it. Every one of you can think of a situation where somebody failed to follow up and you thought, well, I guess they just don't care. Am I right? Following up is an act of love. Let the Teensy system lead you through it. Nobody can fall through the cracks with this. Connect with people. Make their day. Listen for wants and needs. Help them. Invite them when there's some interest, okay? Put them on your follow-ups list. Follow up like a pro, follow up like a pro, follow up like a pro. This is your power hour. Prospects, customers, distributors, then you work your follow-ups list, okay? That should take you 30, 40 minutes to do, in our example, 20, 20 people. And every day, once you get cooking, it'll probably take you a month before you start putting invites in, really in your list. Then you're, if you get consistent with this, you're putting three people on your invite list every day. Oh my gosh, 15 prospects a week. Right? Typical people will close one in five of those, which means you're getting five customers or combination of five customers or distributors every week after you've been doing this a couple of months. And meanwhile, everybody is part of your passion project. So cool. Okay. Does that make sense? And then how do you finish them off? Let me just say, assume after 10 follow-ups, Jay has now converted. Let me just do that for you and then we'll do Q&A. 
So I'm gonna look her up again. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log the sale, okay? Sale type will be different depending on your network, right? So I'm just gonna say distributor kit in this case, save it. That Now Teamsy knows that we got the sale. And now what I'm gonna do, and you can also, by the way, you just put, you can put a tag and create a tag for whatever product they bought. There's a few examples from some of our more popular networks. Okay, so you can put a tag and I always recommend tagging the product that way you know what they got, which is cool. Okay, um, and then what I'll do under member type is I'll change her from prospect to distributor just by clicking on it and then personally sponsor. Boom, now she's gonna be on my team. She's gonna show up on my distributor list instead of my prospects list. I'll continue the relationship. Now she's a team member. How cool is that? All right, let's take some questions. Um, oh wait, before I take questions, let me give you your action steps and then I'll take questions. Start putting the questions in the Q&A feed and I'll answer them in a second. Okay, uh, let's see, I need to get back to my presentation here. Action steps for tonight. Hopefully this was, this was helpful for you guys. First off, go get your 30 day free trial started. That's a no brainer, it's free, just do it. Don't say, oh, well, I'm gonna do it next month. Just do it now, do it now, okay? And if you're already in your free trial, set your subscription up now so that you don't miss, miss a beat when, it, when your free trial's over, okay? You won't get billed until the 30 days free is up, but you can set it up now so that it automatically renews at the end of your 30 days, okay? So get that set up. Second action step, get a, 30, get a success partner to do the trial with you. Okay, they don't have to be a success partner for life, but just get somebody to do 30 day, to be your success partner for the free trial. Here's what you're gonna do. First off, you will do more for someone else than you will do for yourself. That's the point of everything. That's why I spent so much time on the MyY. You won't do this stuff for yourself, but you will do it for somebody else. Get a success partner, hold each other accountable, get each other fired up, and then what you wanna do is every day when you finish your Teamsy -E dashboard, take a screen grab and message it over to your partner. Wake them up. If it's 10 o'clock at night, wake them up with it. That happened to me. I would look at that and go, shoot, now I have to roll over, grab my phone and do this. By the way, you can do everything mobile on your phone too that I showed you tonight so you can get it done, okay? So get a 30-day success partner, do this with you. The last action step is I'm gonna give you a five-day trial. The five-day challenge is this, not a five-day trial, sorry. Five-day challenge during your trial. In five days, I want you to connect with 100 people. That's 20 a day, that's what I demoed for you today. You, it's very doable. I want you to do it five days in a row so you can experience the momentum that will happen. For those of you guys who are sitting in your business right now wishing you had some momentum, this is how you create it. For those of you guys who are leaders with huge teams and you're feeling overwhelmed, you don't know how to get started, this will bring order and balance to your team. You're gonna get both. Momentum that's ordered and balanced, make sense? So get in there, get your free trial or get your subscription set up, get a success partner, and take the five day challenge. Okay, now I'm gonna take questions. Let me see here. <clears throat> okay. Where's my Q&A? Nobody has a question? I've got nothing in my Q&A box. It's right there. It's okay if you don't. My kids want me to go play with them before bed. <laughs> Hi, Katie. If you guys are putting your questions in the chat, you need to put them in the Q&A box. All right, Karen says, how can you update your friends list without having to import it every time? Great, 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 great question. Okay, right. The best thing to do, Karen, is to just add them daily as they come into your friends list. So just click on this little purple guy right here and add them in. Hold on. See how easy that is? Boom. Now, if you fall behind on your Facebook friends, you've got a whole bunch, you can do a bulk import again and it will only import the new people. But what I would do is just this. I go to my Facebook um, profile and then go to friends and I would just look at my recently added list. I would just look at my recently added list and I'd go down my, I've, I've added a bunch of friends lately. Oh my gosh, I've been very popular. I don't know what it is. But you go down your, your recently added people and make sure they're all in Teamsy. Pretty simple, okay? All right, does that make sense? Okay, but again, if you do need to do your um, bulk import again, it won't duplicate the ones you already have. Can you clarify 
Wendy says, can you clarify where to find the follow-up script? Great. Yep. So when you're getting your scripts in Teamsy, hold on, it's right here. When you're getting your scripts, let's say we're on the dashboard, you just scroll down. They're, they're, they're labeled, look, follow-up number one, follow-up number two, follow-up number three. They're in order. They're, they're labeled. Um, so that's from prospects. Now, what you may want to do, see there's filters here, prospects and Facebook, because I came in from my prospects list and then I clicked on Facebook. Now, if you want to see all the scripts, you can clear all those filters and that'll give you all the scripts ever, right? In one thing, or you can add filters. Oh, I just want ones that are good for, uh, Instagram and for customers. Okay. For example. Make sense? So everything's there under that scripts button. You find the scripts button in the con connect box. If you're on somebody's profile page on the team page, you open the connects box to find it. There it is. Okay. Uh, D Lucas says, I think a referral bonus would be a great idea. Free 30 days when we invite a team member who then signs up. D, I, I thought that would be a great idea too. And we did that for a while. The truth is, is it didn't, it didn't really work that well for us. Here's why people feel like you're doing it because you're getting something for it. And we want you guys to refer Teamsy to your, to your friends and your team and your sideline friends because you love it. We want it to be pure. So, um, so that's why we don't do that. But I think it's a great idea too. What we do do is we will add tons of value for you. So if you have a team, we'll do free trainings. We'll invest in your people. We'll help them. We'll make sure they're taken care of. We will love on them. We'll give them great service. And that is how we pay for them. Makes sense. Um, so Robin says, is there an iOS app for this or is it strictly online? So right now there's no iOS app, Robin. It's a mobile website, but it works just like an app on your phone. Look, I have an iPhone right now. Hold on a second. Um, let me share it for, with you real quick. It's, it's spinning the little rainbow wheel. Here it goes. Here's my phone. You guys should see my phone screen right now. Boom. Now you can see I've got the icon for, for the Teamsy dashboard right here um, in the center. It says Teamsy dashboard. I'm going to click that and open my account. Okay. So that opens my account mobile. I can do everything on here. I can go to Jay's thing. I can find my scripts, you know, and if I get a script that I like, let's say it's this one, I can copy the script. And then I can just toggle over to Facebook Messenger, send the message. Well, oh, that's actually Facebook. There's Messenger. I can send the message right there. There's Jay. Look, there she is. Perfect. Boom. Paste the script. Send it. Toggle back to Teamsy. Finish logging it. You see how easy this is? You can do it all on your phone. Okay, it's pretty cool. Um, this is the same on, on Android phones too. Okay. Cool. Great question from Katie. Hold on a second. I can't wait to answer this. This is the good kind of question, right? So um, Katie says, what if they never ask me what I do? And they may never ask you what you do. <laughs> because they may know what you do. They may know what you do and they may never ask you because they're afraid you're going to try to sell to them. And people hate that. Is that true? Do you guys feel that way sometimes when someone tries to sell you? I cracked up today because... Um, somebody who's a friend of mine, who's a leader on, um, who's a juice plus leader. She got prospected by a Vasayo leader today. And she was like, ew. And I think it's funny that network marketing people feel ew towards other network marketing people. And then we're shocked when our friends and family come at us that way. Does that make sense? That's why you guys have to take a completely different approach and you have to be real and honest and love on people. Now, here's the thing I want you to know. I personally believe that the very first thing on your Facebook profile should say is I'm a distributor for XYZ company. I think people should know that. I don't think it should be a secret. Now, here's the cool thing, Karen, just to, or Katie, to ask your question, answer your question. When you're talking to somebody and they give you an update on their life, you automatically would give them an update on your life. That's just normal conversational etiquette, right? So get their update. What's been going on with you, Katie? Send me an update. Tell me what you've been doing. Great. She, she sends me an update. Awesome. Now, I'm just going to, I'm going to hope she says, well, how about you? Now, if she doesn't say, how are you? Or what have, how have you been? Most people will say, how have you been? 
you don't have to, you know, just say, I've been great, thanks, and then run away and go, oh, that didn't work, what, what happened? You say, I've been great. You know, I've been focused this, this last year on helping people get healthy. I've been focused this year on building a business that gives an income stream to my family um, that, that's going to help us get to freedom. Whatever it is that you want to share, you got to tell them what you're doing. You're not going to say, uh, well, I am a um, Monat person, and would you like to try the, our amazing shampoo today? No, you're going to tell them what you're doing and why you're excited about it. Share some of your story. This is what I'm doing, and this is why I'm passionate about it. You know, my story was, hey, uh, I lost 60 pounds. It changed my life. Now I'm helping other people do the same thing, helping other people get healthy. Wow, that's awesome, Eric. Yeah, and it's, the cool thing is, is I'm making a living doing it. That's so cool. See, when I share my passion, no matter what, people are excited for me. That's the first step. Does that make sense, Katie? Is to get them excited for what you're passionate about. And it doesn't in any way have to involve them right now, so you're not freaking them out. But then what I would say is, yeah, so if anybody you know needs help in that area, would you please let them know because I want to help as many people as I can. So, so I would at the very least be planting that seed with everyone I talk to. Now, here's the thing. I just had this conversation with my boot camp group. For those of you guys who are new, I do a boot camp group every quarter, which is kind of like a 12-week in-depth training where we work together. I shared the story. If you guys are so nervous to share that you're in network marketing. But imagine if you're just sharing your day job. You guys probably already do that. But you need to share what you're passionate about, the side gig, the side hustle, the, the passion hustle. So I give the example, if I haven't talked to you in years, and in the meantime, let's say I became a veterinarian and I opened a clinic and I help animals. Would, would you think that was cool? You might. So we're talking, you're like, how are you? Great. You know, and since it's been a long time since we talked, but I actually went to veterinarian school and I've always had a passion for helping animals. And now that now I get to do it every day. It's so rewarding. Your response would be like, wow, that's amazing, Eric. That's so cool. Right? And then if I said, yeah, and in fact, I mean, if you have, Katie, if you have pets and you ever want somebody who really cares for their for pets to be there, if you have a question or have a concern, I want you to know you can call me or you can come see me at the clinic. I'm on State Street downtown. You'd be like, thanks, Eric. This is what I want you guys to understand about sharing your heart, what you do and why you're passionate about it. This is part of the conversation. It's not salesy. You're not selling. You're sharing what you do and you're, and you're sharing why you're passionate about it. They, you need to, your, your goal is to onboard everybody onto your passion project. And everyone's like, wow, what Katie's doing is so cool. Now, are they going to say, sign me up or you know, send me products right now. Some will, but most of them probably won't. They're going to say, wow, that's great, Katie. That's so cool. Yeah. And you say, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And, um, you know, keep me in mind if you run across anybody who needs help in this area, you plant that seed. Okay. You plant those seeds all day long. Everyone's like, wow, what she's doing is cool. Instead of, oh my gosh, I need to cross the street. Here comes Katie. That's the difference. Does that make sense? How do I increase my income goal after I already entered it? Oh, that's a great question. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Wendy already found it. But right on top of the dashboard, there's a little thing that says edit daily goals. Okay. Was that helpful, guys? Did you guys get all your questions answered? Going once? Going twice? Okay. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. It was a pleasure teaching you a little bit about TMZ. There's a lot more trainings um, in our... Uh, online help center as well, that you can learn more about the system. Um, if you go into the Teams University, there's some free trainings in there that will help you build your business from a business consultant standpoint. And there's also some trainings in there that aren't free that you can, you can opt in on if you want to go deeper and learn more about your business. Those are there for you to help you too. We've got all kinds of resources in there for you. Thank you guys for joining us. Get your 30-day free trial going. If you're in your free trial, get your subscription going. Get your 30-day success partner. We are so excited to be part of your success story. Okay. Thank you guys for being here with us tonight. God bless you.